Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 2 assignment of the course problem solving through programming in C. So guys, for the past 5 years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses, including this as well. So these are completely our probable solutions guys. If there are any changes, we will definitely update that in the comment section. If come to our if it come to our notice and you can also suggest your solution guys so let us discuss on that so please watch the video till then don't skip the video guys definitely subscribe our channel and definitely like the video then only our videos will share across the YouTube so that others other students also will get benefited like you and please share this with your friends and classmates guys let's see the first question which of the following cannot be used as a variable in C programming it is option C because it starts with numbers. So it should not start with numeric values. Next, second question. Which of the following is not a correct variable type in C? So integer is a correct variable type. Double is also correct variable and character is also correct variable type. So option B, all of the above is the correct variable type. Is the correct option, right? Next, moving on to the third question. The execution of any C program is, so it is option A, sequential. Next, moving on to the fourth one. Which of the following statements is correct? So first statement, keywords are those words whose meaning is already defined by compiler. It is true. Second one. Keywords cannot be used as variable names. It is also true. Next, there are 32 keywords in C. It is also correct. And finally, C keywords are also called as reserved words. It is also correct. So, all this. So, all these four statements are correct. So, the answer is option D, all of the above is the correct option for fourth question. Next, fifth one. What is a function? So, open a block of statements to perform specific some specific task. B, it is a perfect modular unit to perform some task. Option C, it has a name and can be used multiple times. So, all the three options are correct. So, finally, option D, all of the above is the correct option. Next, moving on to the sixth question now. So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So with five years of imperial experience, we have collected this. So these are the past imperial and, and, and assignment MCQs, guys. So here you'll get a huge number of 130 plus MCQs. 130 plus MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person it is 150 rupees guys. If you take it five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees only. Five, uh, five persons combinedly 500 rupees. So please ask your friends to join along with you. So one person from your group mail me to this email ID. So bk 179 gmail.com So I will give the same email ID in the description box as well. So the validity will be till the exam results day and syntax is also provided. So 130 plus MCQs, it's a restricted PDF base. For one person it is 150 rupees and for five, for five persons combined with 500 rupees. So this is the mail ID. I'll give the same email ID in the description box as well. So that's it guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. So sixth one, what will be the output? So this is the code they have given. So for sixth question, option B, twelve point double zero is the proper solution. Yes. Next seventh question. What is the output of the following C code? So this is the small code they have given. So for seventh question, option C, 17N is the proper solution, guys. 
So mark option C as the proper solution option for second question. Now let's move on to the eighth one. If integer needs two bytes of storage, then, then the minimum value of a signed integer in C would be. So for eighth question, option C is the probable solution. Yes. Next ninth one. So ninth question. What will be the output of the program given below? So hash include hdio.h into n. So they have assigned 9 as the value to variable a. So they are asking to print the value of a. So this is a simple program. So the answer is option a 9 guys. To mark option a as the probable solution for ninth question. So next tenth question. So tenth question, what is the output? So they are defining the function x. So what is x? x into x minus x. That means x square minus x. So here they have get 37.0 divided by function 2. That is 37.0 divided by 2 square minus that means point zero divided by 2. So it is eighteen point five zero. So type that well. So type eighteen point five zero. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week to assignment of problem solving procedures. So hope this video will for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe or like this video and definitely purchase this 130 plus and 50 Google Drive PDF restricted link pack. For one person it is 150 rupees, for five persons combinedly 500 rupees. So please ask your friends to join our with them. So this is the mail ID bk179479 gmail.com. So that's it guys, so keep supporting us like this and please share this video and subscribe our channel. So until the next video, goodbye, thank you.